Here is a 32 year female who came with history of two months of amenorrhea after ovulation induction. Her UPT showed positive, but currently she has excessive vomiting which is disturbing her daily activities. USG showed following image. What is your probable diagnosis? Option A Twin pregnancy, which is monochorionic, monoamniotic. Option B Single life fetus with hyperemesis gravidarum. Option C Twin pregnancy, dichorionic, diamniotic. Option D Molar pregnancy. Seeing the image, do you have any diagnosis in your mind? Okay, let's see if you are right or wrong. In the question, we have several hints like excessive vomiting. Excessive vomiting happens when there is increased HCG. But in the given option, all the conditions have increased HCG. So, we can't rule out any option. Next hint under the question is ovulation induction. Ovulation induction leads to multifetal gestation. So, we can't completely rule out the options. The next hint in the question is the image. This image is of the lambda sign. This is seen in dichorionic diamniotic swings. So, the answer is twin pregnancy with dichorionic diamniotic which is option C. This lambda sign is also known as twin peak sign. It has a thick septum in between which is formed by amnion, chorion, chorion and amnion. Dichorionic diamniotic are seen when cleavage happens within 3 days of fertilization. Next let's see some other USG images. This is the USG image which has T sign which is seen in monochorionic diamniotic twins. It has a thin septum in between which is formed by two amnions. There is no chorion in between. It happens when cleavage happens within 4 to 8 days of fertilization. Next image is, this is the image seen in monochorionic monoamniotic twins. There is no septum in between and it is seen when there is cleavage within 8 to 12 days of fertilization. There is a high risk of cord entanglement. If cleavage happens beyond 12, that is 13 or more than 13 days of fertilization, then it leads to conjoined twins. The next image is, this is the snowstorm appearance which is seen in the complete mold. These are the grape-like vesicles. Thank you.